What if all of the clouds in the sky are full of unfulfilled dreams? What if we could awaken the imagination of a child to tap into those dreams and make them reality? What if we could light a spark that transforms a child's creative gifts into a practical skill? What impact could we have on that child's life? <laughs> Members of the band Kukui traveled to Zugu Dabwani near Kumbungu in the northern region of Ghana to conduct a music education outreach workshop as part of their Music Box initiative. This visit was part of activities to mark European Union Month in Ghana. In partnership with the EU delegation and the Savannah Center for Contemporary Art, TBK put together a European and Ghanaian themed music program in Tamale. The EU ambassador, His Excellency Irchad Razali, was the guest of honor for the Tamale and Kumbungu events. The team received a customary warm welcome upon arriving at the school. It was clear that the students, teachers, and the entire community had been eagerly awaiting their guests. The Zuku Dabwani School was constructed in 1985. Since then, the school hasn't seen much development, but the community, though small, has a vibrant group of students ranging between the ages of 6 and 13 years old. Our MC for the day explained proceedings in the children's mother tongue, Dagbani. We highly recommend and value the initiative of integrating creative arts into the what personal and uh, into personalities in the schools. This brings the youth closer to the realities of the creative sector and helps shape them for the future. After the welcome speeches, it was time for a cultural display. You can dance. This is very important for your education because this is all your you will create the world you will live in. And this is, uh, I think, a very, very uh, fortunate um, initiative, and I'm happy to be part of it. Thank you very much. Um, we'd also like to say hello to our friends from Chango. Um, so they are really partnering with us as well for the bigger picture for our music education project. And they came from Accra to support us here as well. So. Uh, Mr. Papong and you see.
Then all the band Pokri members who are here as well. So we're all here to do a workshop with you. So we'll split a bit. The younger ones, I think, will be with Flawless, and all of us are going to be interacting with them as well. And um, some will go inside and join the written workshop in there as well. And please, Your Excellency, you're also going to be writing. Yes, we want. Once the students were divided into okay. various groups, so the workshop you began. Anywhere, you know it's what? Ah. 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 Hey. When you see this anywhere, it's what? Oh, this is. Oh, this is. You. This is. Oh. This is. Oh. Good. Good. Clap for yourself. Clap for yourself. With your pencils. Just number the lines from the bottom. Line one, two, three, four, five. Number them. So don't start from the top, start from the bottom, from down, okay? One, two, three, four. According to the American National Association for Music Education, studying music is significant for motor skill development, cognitive ability, creative thinking and intellectual curiosity, teamwork, language and reasoning, discipline, a good work ethic, and preparation for the career opportunities available in the creative economy. workshop modules to address musical themes and concepts that are relatable is a key component of the Music Box initiative. Does the spoken language barrier between students and workshop facilitators pose a challenge? Well, after observing the students interacting with the facilitators, it's obvious that music is a universal language. <laughs> 